Okay, to start a sectional view in solid geometry, we need to have the complete front view already drawn. We then also need to have the cutting plane, which you can see given there. And then the first step that we're going to go and do is what we would normally do in the solid geometry question, is to go and draw in the top view as if it hasn't been cut, but preferably always to be drawing it in construction. Hence why it's in red at the moment. Then um, our next step is to make sure, of course, that everything has been correctly labeled. Without correct labeling, this system does not work at all. So you can very clearly see that I've labeled the base in the top view, one, two, three, four, and then transferred that labeling from the base up into my front view with those corners. And then I've given the apex of my pyramid a value as well as being A there and up there. I've also labeled my cutting plane as being cutting plane CC. The next step is then to go and mark where your cutting plane cuts your front view. So we have a cutting point over there on the side of the pyramid and then one more cutting point up there on the side of the pyramid. Very clearly go and mark out exactly which, which points mark a cutting point between your cutting plane and the actual shape. Once you've done that, you take your ruler and go and project each of those cutting points down into your top view. So you take that point and project it straight down and take that point and project it straight down into your top view. Your next step is to make sure that you go and follow the numbering that you've drawn because now you're transferring your cutting points into your top view. You need to now find out where those cutting points are situated here in the top view of your drawing. To do that, we just have to go and check which lines are being cut on these cutting points that we've, been, that we've marked out. So, this line over here has got two names. It is line A1 and it is also line A4. So we can see that the cutting point over here actually cuts two lines despite the fact that it's only one point shown on the drawing. We'll then go and follow that projection line down and we're going to go and see where it's going to cut line A1 in the top view and where it's going to go and cut, cut line A4 in the top view. So if we bring that line down, we can see very clearly here that the first line that it hits into is line A4. And then if we follow it further down, it then hits into line A1. There, we can now go and mark off our two cutting points. Then do the same thing with the other cutting point that we've marked off in the front view. If we project that down, we can see that again, this line over here is, has got two names. It is line A2 and it is line A3. We follow that down into the top view and we can see that as we follow that projection down it hits into line A3 over there at that point and it hits into line A2 down there at that point. Now we've gone and we have gone and drawn out or projected our cutting points from our front view down into our top view. The last thing that we have to do is to go and connect those dots to go and show where the cutting plane would be. So we would simply, I'd rather do it in black, so that you can see the final shape that if you go and connect those two dots connect those two dots and connect that up that over there we will now hatch at a 45 degree angle and that is our cutting plate if I just take out the red lines there you can then see what that top view should look like and once you've done that, you go and draw in dark the rest of your shape. Because remember, your red over here was in construction. 